What's up Nitro gang? This is a brand new Nitro. In this video, we will be unboxing it, doing a first impression and overview of the chassis, and I will tell you whether you should be getting one. This could be purchased right now at FuryRC.com. The current price during recording of this video is $239. If you put in the coupon code HYBRID, yes, you heard me say HYBRID. I have my own special coupon code for you guys to make sure that you all buy more nitros. You could save an extra 10% on this and also get free shipping. This makes, I think, the best deal for a brand new nitro RTR you could possibly buy at current market prices. They are in stock right now, so go to Fury RC, use the link in the description to this video, and get yourself one. Before I open up the box and show you what's inside, let me just give you my little story and background on this. So a member of the Nitro Gang, Max, actually ran this in a video with me. And since then, I even told him in a video, I'm considering getting one. Well, here it is on my table. This came shipped fairly well. The shipping didn't take long from FuryRC.com and there's absolutely no box damage that is obvious of any kind. They use more or less these generic boxes, but these models are available in multiple configurations. The one we have is the buggy and it's a single speed. Now the engine, it's a Force 18 side exhaust engine, guys. Very top-notch engine for a small block. Let's open up the box and see what it's like. Here we go, guys. It's really well packed. Now this one also came with their new Nitro starter set. So if you're just getting into this, I highly recommend you order something like this or else you most likely will be buying this stuff separately. We have a fuel bottle, we have a couple necessary tools, some wrenches, a cross wrench which is used for your glow plug and we have a glow driver. I'll open this up in a little bit. Pretty nice little thing. They sell these as well. Okay, here it goes. Packaging is really good. That's right guys, Force 18 engine. Blue anodized cooling head. You just can't kill it. Pull starter cord already sticks out nicely. I like that you have very good easy access to it. Some of the most important things I tend to look for right away. Is it easy to start? And this one, you know, you don't have to remove the body to start it. It's quite easy. Also the fuel tank, very good access to the fuel tank here in the front. You have a nice cutout in the body. We have an instruction manual, some stickers here, Fly Sky radio that's included here. We're gonna take a look at it. Okay, let's first open up this box we'll slide it out and we'll take a look at the radio itself we got a modern fly sky 2.4 gigahertz radio these are industry standard they're very reliable collapsible antenna fairly comfortable rubber steering wheel they take eight double a's we also have the wing that looks like you know, we're going to have to mount the wing on the chassis later. These are all just side items. What really matters is the nitro in the box. Am I right or what? Okay, it's zip tied here to the bottom. So what we'll do, we'll remove it like this. Check this out, guys. Very good packaging. The out of the box condition is flawless. I've installed the rear wing, very easy to put on, just two basic body clips, goes right on there. Let's take a look at the chassis while it's still clean. Look at that, suspension out of the box, it's incredible. This is probably the best dampened suspension setup in one of these I've ever seen. Let's check out the front. Also very nice dampening. I could tell the front is a little bit of a thicker shock oil. So if you're gonna do a jump, you really want the front to be a little bit tougher to take a landing. The shocks are plastic bodies, but they are adjustable, so you don't need any spacers. A very nice header coming out the back here, not a 90 degree header like many a low end Exceed models tend to have. Let's check out that compression. It's all about that compression with this 0.18 force engine. Whoa, very good. 
very good compression. Fuel tank, looks like a pretty convenient fuel tank. Let's check out the strength of the fuel cap. Oh man, the fuel cap has a very tight spring. So you're probably not gonna have any kind of weird leaks on this. The chassis itself is a simple full-time four-wheel drive setup with waterproof servos. I will tell you something that most people don't really care much about, but I'm telling you, it's very important. The fact that this 0.18 force engine has a slide carb and not a rotary carb. You notice how these linkages are basically perfect 90 degree angles. Well, that's gonna make sure that your brakes engage properly and that your carb opens up properly. And a lot of older or nitro RCs, you have a lot of weird angles going on here. You have a straight, simple 90 degree setup. You have your brake linkage here and you have your carb linkage here, which is, as I said before, a convenient slide carb that does have a low speed needle. I see right over there, that is the low speed needle. The main bang for your buck when it comes to this exact nitro guys, I'm gonna tell you, it's going to be this Force 18 engine. These alone are about half the price of this car if you were gonna to try to buy one. So that is kind of a big deal. I can see the on off switch has a rubber boot on it. That also is a good indicator that this thing does have waterproof electronics. Now, of course, they don't mean that you should be submersing it, right? You shouldn't be going for a swim. But if you wanna run this in a little bit of snow or some rain, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Man, nothing like having a nice shock setup right out of the box. Personally, I like this top-down view on the chassis. You have aluminum parts where you need them to be for your servo supports, right? So you don't want your chassis flexing all over the place. And you have resilient, flexible plastic parts where you want those to be. You really can't kill one of these nitros. I've had similar nitros like this since I began this channel, guys and they're still running strong to this day. Let's open up the radio box, and we'll put the batteries in there, check out the servos, and then continue with this review. Let's open up the box and see what it's like. Two screws hold the radio box here. We have an included AA battery holder. If you wanted to upgrade this to a hump pack, it seems like you have ample room in the radio box to you know run a basic five cell six volt hump pack personally i don't mind running double a receiver battery packs like this they do the job just fine these are not super crazy servos and you really shouldn't need an upgrade to your receiver battery pack we have the typical fly sky three channel receiver so if you wanted to plug in light into that third channel go right ahead i could tell also the chassis does have fairly typical supports here for rigidity coming from the front, going to the middle of the chassis, like chassis standoffs. But in reality, these are fairly lightweight. There's almost no probability that you're going to be bending a chassis like this. These are 10 scale, they're light, they could take a good amount of damage. The batteries are in, everything is installed. Let's power on the electronics and the car. Here we go. Check out that steering, guys. I mean, in my opinion, that steering servo is more than adequate. Look at that, quite quick. Check out the throttle. Awesome slide carb mechanism. Very good brakes. What matters is, did they correctly set the fail safe from the factory? We're going to find out. So observe the throttle servo when I turn off the radio. It should instantly apply brakes. That's right. Instant brake application. So fail safe is correctly set. For me, the fail safe setting from the factory for a beginner is a top priority. And the Fly Sky system, you could trust it, guys. So, awesome slide carb, very normal, quick servo, I would say. Steering, also very adequate. Take a look at this brake system. It's quite significant. We have a metal disc brake. I've rarely seen such a thick metal disc brake. You're not gonna have problems with your disc brakes wearing out. Let me put it that way. On the bottom of the chassis, you have, as expected, a smooth, flat chassis, easy to work on. You have all metric hardware, so no Phillips screws here. Gotta tell you guys, the fit and finish 
on this VRX is, is honestly blowing me away. From the awesome dampening of the shocks, the fact that the failsafe had set, the Force 18 pull start engine, the awesome linkages with a slide carb, which is quite rare for a small block engine. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to go run this. Let's take a look at the Nitro Starter Kit because I'm expecting people that are buying this, you're going to need something like this. Now you can order your own, whatever you want, but just take notice of the extra elements you need other than of course, nitro fuel. And I highly recommend people pick up about 20 to 25% nitro fuel with about 10 to 12% oil. I understand people might be buying nitro fuel outside of the USA, so you might not have bones brew availability like I do. But these are pretty standard generic HSP nitro starter sets is what they're called. Let's open it up. This is what you get. Super handy and necessary fuel bottle, glow plug wrench, a small wrench here. These are used for the wheel nuts and sometimes other elements on the chassis itself. All top priority items that you actually do need. We have ourselves a nice flathead tuning screwdriver and a small Phillips head screwdriver. The glow driver, I see it's got an 1800 milliamp hour capacity battery inside, so it's actually quite good. The charger, this is the US plug. If you live outside of the US, you can choose the type of plug you want. And of course, our super handy and useful glow plug wrench. Check that out. That's what this is for. Boom, there you go, solid. This is the cheapest current Nitro you can get. I unboxed it, showed you what it's all about, showed you the electronics, and do I recommend you buy it? I gotta give it a hell yes, you need to buy this. I've actually seen these drive before. I know the performance they're capable of. Now this video is an introduction an overview of the chassis as it came from the factory. And I did not encounter a single problem. In fact, the brand new HPI Savage that I unboxed a couple months ago, the failsafe was not even set on that. So this already blew the Savage away, you know, in at least one category, having the failsafe set. So go to Fury RC, check out the nitros they have. In fact, I will most likely be shopping there again for some more nitros because they have quite a good selection. They have a 1.8 scale Nitro Buggy, also a VRX brand. And I have that one too. I still have yet to break that one in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Use the link in the description of this video. Use the coupon code HYBRID. Save yourself 10% and make Nitro great again. I'll be back with a lot more on this buggy. We're going to break it in. We're going to run it rich and loud. And we're going to test the top speed. But I already know. These are quite quick, I've seen them, and it actually surprised me how fast they were. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.